All right, guys, vlog number seven is just strictly going to be my truck tour. Vlog number eight will be the last half day before the tournament. So I'll show you that in vlog number eight. But so vlog number seven, we're just going to keep uh, all my truck tour. It just took too long. Um, so check it out. All right, let's give you a little truck tour here. I'm just going to show you on my truck here how it lifts up, and then I'll kind of show you everything that's inside. Got a cool truck vault in there and all kinds of cool stuff. And right over here, we got a lift. There's a little button in here. If you can see that in there. It says Topper Easy Lift. We're gonna raise her up. Going up. Don't take too long. Bunch of the stuff I carry inside here. There it is. Now she's up. And then what's really cool here is I have a tent system in here. And I'll show you that in a, in a little bit here. It totally encloses. So that's, you know, that's pretty neat. Here is some of the stuff that I carry in the back of my truck. Mercury prop. I always have an extra prop on hand. You never know. And you want to have it in case you need it. My cooler, that goes everywhere with me. My Yeti cooler. Tools, always gotta have tools. Battery charger, you never know when you're gonna need that battery charger. Give your battery a little extra oomph or if it gets down too low, sometimes you gotta jump them a little bit. I carry an extra motor guide, XI-5. Um, that's a bow mount trolling motor, you never know. All this stuff, guys, I just carry just in case I would need it. You know, you never know when you're gonna need it. Um, I have a bed here with my pillow. I always travel with my pillow. You guys know how that is. Um, but this thing's equipped with, it's got lights, it's got power. There's an inverter inside here. It's pretty sweet. There's, uh, let me move this here. I don't know if you can see this, but there's screens here too. I got screens in my tent. This thing totally encloses. I'll show you that in a minute here. But yeah, there's tons of room. My daughter can actually stand up in there. She's six years old. So it's about four feet, I would say. Maybe a little bit more. Ah. But yeah, it's a nice little setup. This is just a I think I got this from REI. It's a little sleeping bag. Um, you know what's cool about this though actually is the sheet's built in. It's got a sheet, there's a mattress. Everything, it's one of those self-raising mattresses. Um, so that's kind of cool. It all tucks in and around the, it's all one piece. That's kind of nice. But let's, uh, let's check out the truck vault here. This is what, one of the coolest things that I like traveling this year, this truck vault has organized my life. Um, I used to carry big tubs around um, and it just, it's just a hassle because every time you try to go find something, you can't find it. And you can label as best you can, but still it's, it's a problem. So in this drawer here, I keep, I keep a vacuum cleaner because I'm kind of anal. I 
I like to keep my boat clean. I don't like all the little rocks that are in there from your feet. You know, I just keep everything. I got drills. I got a bunch of drills, a hammer drill, hole saw. You never know when you got a drill. You know, it's just continuous stuff. You always, you just got to be prepared because a lot of these places, you don't, where you go, you're not going to have, you're not going to be able just to get everything. Zip ties, drill bits, bungee cords, extra transducers. Um, you never know. Extra hub kit in case you spin a hub. A bunch of stainless steel screws, washers, um, extra knobs for my Lorances, electrical stuff. Um, another motor guide bracket down there. This is a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Locks, all kinds of different stuff in there. Different plugins, wire. Yeah, you name it, it's in here. Uh, what else? Oh, we'll take this out because this is the enclosure. Definitely put that on there. Sockets to take my, uh, just these are just bigger sockets, just in case you need bigger sockets. You know, you always need that inch and one sixteenths for your prop. This is a kind of a cool deal here. I don't know if anybody, you guys have seen these. I can't remember the name, um, but I could find out. I'll find out and I'll put it in the information down below the video. But this thing is awesome. If you get a flat tire on your trailer, um, with these dual wheels. Basically, with tandem trailers, you just drive with the good tire, you drive your trailer up onto it, it raises it up, it sits up off the up off the ground, and then you can change your other tire. You don't need to jack your your uh, trailer up. It's awesome. And they, they give you a non-skid thing to put underneath it too. Um, but it, it works pretty cool even just to rotate your tires. Uh, let's go over to the next drawer. One thing I wanna quick show you before I shut this down um, is right inside here, they hooked me up, uh, Truck Vault put these in for me. Um, it's a regular plug-in, two cigarette lighters. I can plug in my, um, my DeWalt's, my GoPro batteries um, if I need to. You know, like a lot of times I said, if I'm on the road or if I'm staying somewhere and uh, there's not a hotel or anything around, um, I can get my stuff charged up, including my cell phone. <laughs> Most important. But yeah, let's close this drawer. Let's go to the next drawer here. It's tackle time. So this is how my life has gotten organized here. Um, as you can see, I keep lying in here. Um, you know, just extra stuff, all different kinds of stuff here. Um, all different sizes of line, snaps. Um, and then uh, these are all 3,700 Plano boxes in here. Get a couple of these out here. I can keep all my plastics in here. It's kind of cool. I like these little bags here. Keeps all your plastics organized, you know, for wherever you're gonna, wherever you're gonna be, all these swim baits are gonna be good this fall. <laughs> But yeah, keep a couple of those in here, more plastics in there. Um, just, it's gotten my life very organized on tour because a lot of times, like I said, I had these, all this stuff in bins. 
and you know i'd be like well where are my number seven flicker shads or you know something like that and i'd have to figure out which bin or where are my extra ones And what's cool about these truck vaults, they're waterproof. I mean, being that I got this cap on here, I don't really have to worry about it too much. But um, they're dustproof, waterproof, and that's, that's really nice. Your stuff doesn't get all dirty. And then in the last drawer here, more 3,700 Plano boxes, and this one's just full. I have a total of 70 3,700 Plano boxes that I travel with. Um, you know, each place I go to, I try to pick out what I might use, you know, you just, you never know. Um, I carry an extra handheld marine radio. You know, you never know. I, I just, I kind of keep a little bit of everything. Just never know what you're gonna use. Keep my maps and stuff down there. This, um, these are all my JT custom uh, spinners and beads. Kind of have that organized here. Um, more beads, kind of the spinners up in front. And then I, I was just out, just depends on where you're going. Jigs, crankbaits, crankbaits, lots of crankbaits never have too many crankbaits it's a good addiction it's better than any other addiction um, yeah I just I, I stash other stuff down here cleaning supplies offshore tackle stuff I think I had a couple more boards over here um, yeah it's kind of my truck I have a z-series topper from ARE and that's the topper up there. Oh, I gotta show you my rod pods. So up there, it's kind of cool about that. Here, let me jump up here. Let's pull this down. What's cool about this here, these locks, this lock system here, I think they're called bolts. Yeah, B-O-L-T. All this information, guys, I'll leave in the, the drop down under underneath the video down below and you can look at it i'll give you all the information of all the equipment that i have so check that out oh i was going to show you so here's my truck key these are my truck keys this these locks learn your keys they use for your vehicle so you don't have a ton of different uh keys roaming around because you know you have them for your your trailer there's locks for everything when you're traveling like this and then uh i just have a couple extra what do i have in here a couple new rods there i have a couple bouncer rods here you can see them in there i got two rods with reels in there and then a couple extra here and then over in this one i just have a bunch of extra rods with all reels on them but it's really nice because you don't have to carry all your stuff in your boat. And then when you get to wherever you're staying, um, unload your boat every time. This way, you know, you can just keep it, keep the stuff in your boat that you're going to probably use for the tournament. And then uh, use it during pre-fish and then take it out. You know, the, you know, the night before the tournament, lighten your load in your boat and, and then, you, you know, you're not just, you're not bringing as much equipment in wherever you're staying. It's all about time and time is money in this fishing gig. <laughs> Another nice feature on the truck vault. Um, it just makes you feel, you know, more secure. You know, I did lose a, a boat on tour my one of my uh, my tournament boats was stolen um you know so i'm kind of uh i kind of like security i you know i lock everything up now um and then that was one thing that really drew me towards these truck vaults these things are solid hard supposedly they're almost impossible to pry open 
the big metal plate on top. And they have a, a nice lock system here. You know, you can lock it. You can put a code on it so it's quicker. If you want, if you just want to use a key, you can use a key. Um, so, yeah, you know, I really, I like the security of that. And then the, you know, the next thing, so you got all your drawers locked. Then you lift your tailgate up and you lock that. It's almost, it's impossible to get in there. I mean, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's going to take you a long time to get in there. And hopefully by that time, um, somebody's going to know what's going on. All right, guys, come and check out this tent. Give you what it kind of looks like here. This could be my bed on tour, or you never know if my wife kicks me out. At least I got a place to stay. <laughs> Come on in. So you've seen my bed, get to sleep with my motor guide, my XI-5. Good spot, you know, I have room down here for my Yeti, my drinks, put my shoes on here. It's a nice rubber, um, waterproof bottom which is really nice um yeah so there's there's a lot of room in here it's kind of neat Stop.